So let's take a look at rounding decimals. When we're starting, we're going to start by rounding decimals on a number line. So my first example is 7 and 237 thousandths to the nearest tenth. Well, here's my tenths place. So that means that it's between 7 and 2 tenths and 7 and 3 tenths. So what I need to figure out is where would 7 and 237 thousandths fit on this number line? Well, I know right in the middle, so this would be really thought of as 7 and 20 hundredths and 7 and 30 hundredths. But since I'm actually going out to the thousandths, I could even put another zero here and another zero here. I'm not going to bother with those because that's don't have enough space for all that. So now let's take a look at what's in between. So this would be 7 and 21, 7 and 22, 23, 7 and 24, 7 and 25, and so on. until I get all the way up to 7 and 29 hundredths. Well, this is 7 and 237, so there's the 3. So it's matching up right here. So it'd be a little bit between 7 and 23. If you imagine I put 10 little marks in here, right? We could figure out where it is. So it would be, you know, right about here. Well, we know from rounding on a number line that anything from here is always going to round up. And anything from just before that going here is going to round down. So 7 and 237 thousandths will end up rounding to 7 and 2 tenths. Very good. So let's take a look at another example. How about 12 and 459 thousandths, but this time to the nearest hundredth. So here's my hundredths, that five. So it'd be 12 and 45 hundredths. And then the next would be 12 and 46 hundredths. So now I have to figure out, well, where is this going to fit? Well, I know right down the middle is going to be 12 and 455 thousandths. That five is right in the middle, because right we would have a zero here and a zero here, and just in between 50 and 60 would be 55. So now if it's 459 thousandths and I'm at 455, well then I now know 12 and 459 thousandths is here. Well, remember, anything from here rounds up. I think just before that and down, rounds down. So it's going to round up to 12 and 46 hundredths.